Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. A week long Manipur Sangai festival recently kicked off in Manipur. Organized by the State Tourism Department of Manipur, it is one of the biggest festivals held annually to promote tourism in the region. The inaugural function of the festival was held at Hapta Kanje Bung in Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, Burmese ambassador Mo Kya Ong stated that India's Northeast represents the heart of the Act East policy. Various cultural programs were also showcased before the distinguished dignitaries, foreign delegates, and tourists. The festival will end on 30th November. A four-day event, the 65th National School Games Boxing Under-17 was recently held at R. Deng Thoma Multipurpose Hall, Malpoi in Aizol. A total of 486 participants from 36 states and units from across the country, including 413 boxers and 73 officials participated in the National School Games 2019. The 78th Constitutional Day was observed recently at Janta Bhavan in Assam. The day is celebrated on November 26 every year to mark the 70th anniversary of the adoption of the constitution and raises awareness on the Indian constitution. Attending the 70th Constitution Day program, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal said that the constitution stands for dignity and unity of the country. Two Central Reserve Police Force personnel were injured in a grenade attack near Thangmei Ban Improvement Club outside Manipur Assembly Complex recently. According to reports, the incident took place when the CRPF columns of B by 87 were inside the Thangmei Ban Improvement Club. The grenade was suspected to have been lobbed by unknown miscreants, leaving the two CRPF Jawans with the splinter injuries. Both the Jawans were immediately rushed to a nearby hospital and are reportedly out of danger. Inspired by Prime Minister's Fit India movement to further improve along with a better lifestyle, Sri Fort's Sports Carnival was recently launched at Sri Fort Complex in the national capital. The grand opening was held at a cricket ground in the complex and was attended by Olympic medalist Mary Com, Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju, Lieutenant General Asit Mistri, Radhe Sham Julania, Union Sports Secretary, and other dignitaries. The four-day-long carnival was attended by around 1,800 people. Ten sports activities were performed in the sports carnival. Prime Minister, uh, launch carnival baad, uh, people are uh, they are more into in you know uh, uh, more into in fitness. They are now very very much aware. So I really appreciate. Uh, I'm thanks to our Prime Minister to launch this uh, Fit India movement. Assam celebrated Lachit Devas in the memory of the famed General Lachit Borkukan of Ahom Kingdom of 70th century recently. As a mark of tribute to the legendary warrior, various celebrations took place in the various parts of the state of Assam. The event was graced by Chief Minister of Assam where he laid emphasis on strengthening the Assamese society and to follow the principles of Borkukan. Lechit Borfukan is a cultural idol in the state after he defeated a large Mughal army on the banks of Brahmaputra in the Battle of Sarai Ghat in 1671. As a mark of tribute to the military veterans of their unflinching contribution to the country and in recognition of the unwavering support of the next of kin to soldiers inspiring their selfless service to the nation, a veterans and NOK rally was organized under the aegis of Black Cat Division through Padong Military Station. The rally provided an opportunity for the veterans to voice their problems and seek resolutions to the problems from the civil administrations of the military authority. The event was attended by nearly 500 military veterans. The event served to strengthen the commitment of Army towards the well-being of its veterans' care, support and dignity to veterans and next of kins that they fully deserve.